Hi, my name's John. If you're here watching my videos, tap the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. If you like my videos, hit the bell icon so you can get notifications for new videos. And at the end of the video, you can hit the icon in the center and also subscribe to my channel. Okay, it is Sunday, September 6th. I'm at the shop. Uh, I was gonna do a first startup on my motor last night, but the uh, the uh, 3.5 inch screen had version four software on it. It was supposed to be clean. It was wrapped brand new like it was clean, but apparently not. So I had to, it wouldn't communicate with the computer. So I had to take the uh, SD card out take it to the house where there was internet uh, update to version 2 the SD card info and then uh, I downloaded it installed it on the card brought the card back up here uh, updated the the 3.5 inch screen with version 2 software and then updated the uh, the ECU with version two software. And, you know, just to make sure last night, cause I was frustrated, I was here till 1.30 in the morning after being here till three in the morning the night before. Uh, but anyway, I'll let y'all hear it. I'm go ahead and start it up. Can't run it very long, cause I don't have my fans or anything connected yet. It sounded like crap last night. Uh, it's only got about 20 pounds of oil pressure. I figure the uh, oil needs changed and the uh, I figure the oil needs changed and I figure you know the sp I know the spark plugs need changed but anyway let me turn the camera around and uh, I'll give y'all the first start or first start for y'all. first pump on the gas but I'm gonna figure that out right quick and I'm sure it's a tuning thing uh, I'm sure it needs to be driven around a little bit to fix that but anyway um, the screens working I don't have all the uh, temperatures and sensors quite hooked up yet I want to uh, add my turn signals to it and I want to add my fuel tank level to it um, I've got to look up how to do that. I know it's just an input and I got to figure out how to make it read for the, the fuel tank level. Uh, if not, I'll add a gauge. Uh, you know, know how it is. I, I'm still learning this. I'll probably be learning it for a long time, but there it is. It's in, it's running. I got to get the fans connected. I got to get the drive shafts back in. I gotta get the speedometer connected and then it'll just be, you know, minor shit from then on. I've gotta get the AC put on, which is gonna happen. So anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go for right now and I'll be right back when I do something else. See y'all later. 
Okay, good morning. It's September 8th, about 9.30 in the morning. I'm back up at the shop. We're looking at the uh, LS Swap K2500. Um, yeah, there is a rat's, rat's nest of wires on top of the motor. I'm going to change this wire. Um, it's not quite big enough, and I need it to go directly to the battery. Um, so I'm probably going to end up just getting a long battery cable and sticking on there. Um, that would be plenty of voltage. I don't know what the amps are on this, but it just barely keeps up with the fans. It, it charges about 12.4. Um, so not quite enough. Uh, I'm going to find a snorkel for that eventually um, especially when I get my AC on there I'm gonna have to I think because of the uh, the way the belts gonna fit but anyway the thing starts it uh, moves under its own power uh, I've got to adjust the clutch just a little bit um, I, I got it too tight and it's it's riding the throw out bearing all the time let me see what I did yesterday put the drive shaft in uh, got most of the computer work done. Um, I'm not getting my 7-inch screen to update, so it's not really acknowledging the computer. I mean, I'm getting some stuff. It, it you know, it's 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 measuring some things, but I can't access it with the the computer or anything. So I got to figure out what's going on with that, and then. Uh, let me see what else everything seems to be reading right I got the uh, the uh, power steering pump changed yesterday I went ahead and just pulled the bracket and everything off my old motor that way I don't have the the hose coming out the side that's the return from the the brakes they had a hydraulic assist brakes on the, the engine prior so instead of trying to change the the pump itself i just changed the whole bracket i'll worry about that pump later when i put you know that bracket on the back on the old the five three um my oil pressure is kind of low and i did some reading and found out that it could just be the uh sensor the the sensor's real bad about plugging up on these so you know that's my next thing and the reason i think that is because the the oil pressure jumps up and down, so, you know, it very well could be that. Uh, let me see, what else? Uh, water pump, power steering bracket, uh, cleaned up some of the, some of the wire mess. Uh, still got quite a bit more to do. Uh, mounted my radiator. It don't move no more at all pretty tight um, and let me see uh, put the drive shaft on I got to put the front drive shaft on clutch works good uh, it's actually softer than the one I had in it it, it kind of it's kind of hard to get used to um, I don't have a lot of gas in it so I didn't drive around much and I you know I backed it out of the shop and drove it back in because you know there's no no oil in the gearboxes so i didn't want to go out on the street with it until i get some oil in it but uh instead of uh instead of pulling the plug and trying to fill it from the bottom on the transmission i'm just going to take out the shifter and fill it through the shifter i've got to take the boot off that shifter anyway so you know i'll just pull it out and do it that way um it, it's a lot faster uh, it takes four quarts so you know I'll put four quarts in it and then you know if it's if it's not full then I'll I'll take it to the service bay and have them fill it up but other than that um, everything's been running good you know I actually was able to update the computer in the three and a half inch screen which you know all I did with that was update it and then you know put the tune in it get it started starts every time runs great uh, change plugs change wires 
and uh, now I'm ready to fill up the transmissions. I'll check the water in the radiator again, and uh, I guess I'll go from there. But anyway, we'll see y'all guys in a little bit. In order to get this uh, shifter out, all you gotta do is this top little ball here, socket joint, you put a pair of channel locks on that and twist it counterclockwise and it's got two little hooks on it you just push down and twist it and it comes right off and then opposite you push down and twist it to the right or clockwise to put it back on it's that simple I uh, can't do it because it takes two hands so we'll see you in a minute okay, that's out of there took all of about two seconds see them two dogs right there one two uh, that's what that little lock ring locks on right here See if I can get the light on it instead of right at y'all Got them little locks on it and it's just you push it down a little bit twist it and it's like not even an eighth of a turn so uh, Let me get this all in order and I'll put my oil in there and uh, That's gonna take all of about three minutes and, and then uh, I'll put the shifter back in and we'll be done with that and I'll fill up the uh, transfer case from under the truck okay I'm sitting here in the truck um, it's windy it got cold today uh, like I told you in one of the last videos last week uh, that you know August was hot it's in the hundreds and nineties all month long and by October it'd be freezing it's uh, September 8th and it's gonna be like 43 in the morning with uh, wind chills in the 30s and possibly in the 20s uh, you can definitely tell when the, the uh, cold front hit. Um, I'm at my house right now, but I'm going to show you, uh, you know, I, I put in the video that I was having problems getting the 7-inch uh, the, uh, digital dash to download the uh, software, the firmware update. Um, I'm going to show you what I did. Uh, the uh, ECUs, both of them, uh, the little three and a half inch screen and then this seven inch screen came with all data thumb drives and the all data thumb drives wouldn't even work. Wouldn't acknowledge them. They, they were just, it was like they're bad. There was nothing there. You could put them in a computer, and a computer would say, you know, something was wrong. Do you want us to fix it? Blah, 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 blah. You hit the, the deal, and it fixes it, supposedly. And you could read it on the computer. So, I don't know what's going on with them. Something, something in the software inside the uh, thumb drive. But, I went to Walmart... And I bought two thumb drives. Um, I bought this ONN thumb drive. It's a 16 gig. And I downloaded the software in it. And then I bought this SanDisk and downloaded the software in it just in case one of them worked. I downloaded it in both of them. I only checked the on or the ONN because it worked. Um, I'll uh, I can plug the uh, the SanDisk in to see if it even recognizes it. But since you know it, it recognized the ONN, I didn't see any reason to go any further. Um, now when I turn my my vehicle on. The dash comes on, you know, it's got to load up all its software. Well, this camera looks like crap. Okay. Now, 
when I first got this computer it was set up for a sniper so it had six buttons here and uh, now it's just got the four now this the, the the only difference between this and the three and a half inch screen is you can't see anything on here if you want to log or you you want to do closed loop you're going to have to set it up in the ecu with the 3.5 inch uh handheld before because this will log but it won't uh it won't read the self-tune and all that stuff so anyway uh the vehicle's been self-tuning uh i'm gonna pull the file off of it with the computer and then uh I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and, and uh, you know, fix some things and stuff like that. But as far as the screen goes, if your screen comes with an all data thumb drive, just go get you a new one. Uh, they, they prefer the smaller ones. The smaller ones are uh, something about them, you know, they just work better. But a 16 gig ONN uh, thumb drive worked just fine for me. So, I mean, it was so easy after that one little problem, you know, it, it recognized it and uh, it didn't update on its own, but I went in uh, to configuration and hit update firmware and everything updated right away so after that everything's good all right i'm gonna go in for a while and then uh, when i go out on my first drive which will probably be tomorrow or the day after uh, i'm done working on this thing for a day or two i've got i still got to put the ac in it and stuff like that uh, I'll probably take it up to the shop and park it in the shop again and then get back in my expedition and come home. But as far as working on this thing, I'm done for a day or two. But anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Uh, it's September 8th. Got the truck running. Of course, y'all knew that. Um... I've finished hooking up the both drive shafts are on uh, the dash is working now I did a video about that earlier um, also uh, I've already done the first drive you know I'll let y'all see the first startup but the first drive was for me I wanted to make sure everything was right before I went to town and and you know things messed up but anyway here we go usually if I let this cycle through it starts better I think I've got an injector leaking a little bit I don't like this screen I don't know why it keeps staying there um, I can't really read it so anyway here we go see it doesn't like to start some reason it just won't start the first time it sputters off and then it dies and then it starts up the second time all right so uh anyway i'm gonna try to do this without getting arrested dash works really well uh don't pay no mind to the wind noise it's an old truck it's got uh old window belts and old window seals and, and it's got all the rattles of an old truck uh, i've got the stuff to hook up my speedometer but i'm waiting on one more cable to be here and then i'll have speedometer and fuel level and, and everything so uh, i'm still getting used to driving it Very touchy, as you can tell. It's hard to do this, and my uh, my uh, GoPro's 
dead or I'd have it stuck on the back window. But uh, anyway, you're getting the sound and everything that you want to get. So uh, the clutch works fantastic. A little too good. I'm going to have to readjust it. It's a little high. Uh, the motor sounds really throaty. A lot throatier than it did before. screen has about 10 more IOs that you can put in it. And I'm having an issue with my motor. Uh, the oil pressure stays about 25 to 30 which, you know, I went to a shop and they said, well, there's some, you know, depending on what oil pump they put in them that run 25 to 30 and then there's some that run you know 40 to 60 so you know I don't know what's up with that but this one had an oil oil cooler on it and I took the oil cooler off but every once in a while I think it's got a bunch of sludge going through the motor I changed the oil so I can clean it out um, but the lifters will start rattling and tapping real bad and then you just let it idle down and it goes away it's it's acting kind of like you know when you had a an older style small block or an older style small block Ford, and when the uh, when the uh, oil filter started plugging up because it had too many miles on it, and it would start rattling and pull over and shut the motor off and let it set for a little bit and everything had settled down and you can start it up and go again and be good for you know a little while uh, that's what it sounds like it's done but that you know it's got plenty of oil pressure so that's not what it's doing um, not really sure what it's doing it just does it every once in a while it's not because it's getting hot it runs a little warm for my liking but you can hear in the background, it's it's rattling away right now. Um, probably destroying my camshaft. But I'll idle down and, and it'll clear up. But anyway, I'm going to pull over for a minute and uh, see if I can get this to stop. If I go fast... See if I can't get that to clear up. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go so I can deal with this. See y'all later.